Hey guys, Tactical. <sighs> Culture clash. Moment of impact. I'm actually going to split this one into two parts. Um, I'm going to save, like, the culture clash part of this one for the second part with, like, dealing with different people and whatnot. But today I kind of wanted to talk about technology side of it. Because it doesn't really matter where you're stationed. Like, you're going to run into some kind of, like, technology that was unexpected and might throw you for a loop. Even when I was stationed in North Carolina, like, I went to make a road trip in January to go home, see family, all that type of thing, and driving back in January, pull up to a gas station, get out, swipe my credit card. All I want to do is pay, start the pump, and get back in my truck because it was like 10 degrees outside and like 20 to 30 knot winds. And... They had this cool high fangled TV screen in the gas pump, which is cool and all, until like it took my credit card payment and then wanted to know if I wanted a car wash. Like, no, I just want to pay for my gas. And then after it asked me if I wanted a car wash, then it asked me if I wanted a rewards card for that gas station. It's like, no, I just want to pay for my gas. And then it proceeded to tell me all about all the cool things inside the store I could go buy. And it's just like, I just want to pay for my gas and get back in my truck. Oh. So, you know, it doesn't matter where you are, you're going to run into this. And I think it is even more so for those of us stationed overseas, especially for a significant amount of time. I had one experience coming back from Japan where they... Drive on the left side of the road. I was over there for about seven months, and I come home, first time I go to get in the car, you know, get out, and about halfway out to the main road, realize I'm still driving on the left side of the road. Oops! So, you know, that's another aspect to kind of think about. Um, and then, this last time I came back, being gone for two and a half years, and then not really going into too many stores the times that I did come back to the States. You know, I come back and I needed like three or four things. So I ran into Walmart kind of later at night. Everything's pretty normal until I get up to the front. And it was like, um, where are all the cashiers? Like the whole left side of the store was all self-checkout. And it looked brand new. You know, I've been in a Walmart where they had, you know, like, the left two registers were self-checkout, but, like, this was literally half of the cash registers were all self-checkout. And it I didn't actually go through it, but it looked a little fancier than what they used to have for the little two-lane things. So, you know, it's just something to kind of be aware of and to start thinking about. You know, I've gotten into a couple of conversations, too, with people... You know, whether it's a cell phone carrier or it's like I've never even heard of them. Or, you know, somebody was showing me their um like their home Wi-Fi server thing and like all the stuff that it can do and it's like I thought it was just supposed to give you internet. But apparently theirs does like a bunch of other stuff. I don't even know what. But like they can go in and like control all the stuff. They've got an app on their phone and all this other stuff. But, you know, they had a number of conversations, people talking about different apps and technologies and everything else. So, you know, you kind of feel a little bit lost in the sauce, if you know what I mean. So, you know, just something, especially if you're stationed in the middle of nowhere, like I've spent a lot of time doing or coming back from being overseas, just to kind of brace yourself. Because, yeah, things change, change a lot. So, anyway, till next time, guys. Bye.